Karen Amado, and I'm a 2020 co-chair for the Anton Art Party at Home. Hi, and I'm Pat Woodstock, and I'm the other co-chair for Art Party at Home. I've been a volunteer at the Art Center since 2006, and in the last 14 years, I have really watched the Art Center grow with the help of the support of the community and all of our generous sponsors. Um, we started out as a visual art center. We have added so many new things. We're doing plays. We have the Michigan Opera Theater coming to perform, the Detroit Children's Choir. All the world's a stage has brought their kids to the art center to perform. Um, we've had poetry readings and guest speakers, but we also have all kinds of other programs. One of my favorites is the Alzheimer's workshops where the Alzheimer's patients and their caregivers can come for a, a couple hours of fun and, and creativity. Our kids' classes are wonderful, and our clay program is probably one of the best in the surrounding areas. We even have people from Southgate who drive all the way to, to Mount Clements for Deanna Klein's um, clay classes. Most of our events are free or low cost and open to the public. The big advantage of being a member of the Art Center is that the class tuitions and the discount in the gift shop. So keep that in mind, we need your support. I totally agree. The number of programs that have been done have grown over the years. I've been a volunteer since 2013, primarily with Art Party and the Holiday Market. This year we had to think outside of the box and color outside the lines in order to have an art party at home. We normally would have it in a huge tent right outside of the center with entertainment, food tastings from local restaurants, silent auction, raffle, hundreds of people showing up. Well, something got in the way of having that this year. So we went to a virtual art party at home. Once the virus is gone, once we can go back to business, we want to reopen our doors and offer all those wonderful programs that Patty discovered and talked about. And we need your continued support, participation, and donations to make that happen. You can donate online after you hear this. Just click on the button and we would appreciate anything you can do for us. Also, this is a time of giving, but also saying thanks. I want to say thanks to all of our past supporters, particularly the restaurants who have donated food to us in the past years. This year, more than ever, they're hurting. And if you see this ad and you see the list of restaurants who have supported us, and you can do curbside or dine-in or carry-out, please support those who have supported us. Thank you so much from the bottom of both of our hearts. Thank you.